On the eighth day, after a male member of the tribe is born, Jews circumcise the baby boy. In Parshat Akev, Moses tells the Israelites to circumcise their hearts. No, really, circumcise their hearts. What does that mean? Sometimes, our lives get full of emotional and mental junk that we need to clear away before we can see what's really important, like a spiritual spring cleaning. In Akev, Moses helps the Israelites start clearing out the cobwebs before they move into their new home, the Promised Land. The Israelites are standing at the edge of the land of Israel. They are really anxious to get in. Moses stands before them. It's kind of like their graduation day, and Moses is giving the farewell address. After this message, they'll be out on their own in the real world. In this considerably long speech, he reminds the Israelites that if they keep God's commandments, then they will be protected. Not just protected, but blessed, with children, with health, and with fertile soil that produces lots of good stuff. The Israelites could have been rolling their eyes at this point. We get it, Moses. Just let us enter the land already. But he reminds them that they have made plenty of mistakes and they better listen up. Like the times when they doubted his leadership and even doubted God. Like the time they, ahem, built the golden calf, a provoked God with their gluttony when 24-7 meat wasn't enough for them. And then there was that time the spies scared everyone with their wild reports about the land of Israel, not to mention the constant complaining. I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, and are we there yet? Moses asked the Israelites to remember when God took them out of Egypt and freed them from slavery. And he tells it like it is. It's not because you're righteous that you got to this point. In fact, you're kind of a pain in the tuchus. But I kept convincing God, who was determined to destroy you, not to wipe you out. He continues, You've made it this far. You're about to cross the Jordan, and there's no reason to fear anything that awaits you. In fact, I'll even give you a sneak preview. It's a land of wheat and barley, and grapevines, and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and date honey. P.S. These are known as the seven species, the seven fruits and grains that the land became famous for and that we have special blessings for today. So in this place, Moses says to the Israelites, you're going to prosper and build houses and family and wealth, unlike the wilderness where you've been wandering for 40 years, not settling down or growing anything. But, Moses warns, don't get haughty and say that you made it all happen. You have to remember to give thanks to God. Then he teaches them what is today the second part of the Shema, one of the most important prayers that Jews say. It includes clear instructions that you should serve God with all of your heart and all of your soul. But what does that mean with all of your heart? And then what did he mean a few minutes later when he also told the people, circumcise the foreskin of your hearts? All of us have an inclination to sometimes be protective, to close ourselves off from the world. Perhaps when Moses said, circumcise your heart, he was referring to this inclination. Sometimes we don't want to expose ourselves to others. We meet people and want to keep it on a shallow level, or we start to get close with a friend, but fear getting hurt. We harden our hearts to strangers, the new kid in school, or someone who looks different than we do, and we also do it to those that we love, like when we fight the hardest with the people we care about most. But the deepest relationships happen when we show people the real us, even though it means being vulnerable. We all have spiritual potential inside of us. All we have to do is find the place of doubt within our hearts and work on cutting it away.